Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Not sure when you're gonna be watching this. Um, so, um, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Um, anyway, I decided to do this video in English too. I was doing it in Portuguese, but I decided to do it in English too because I have many friends that, who does not speak any Portuguese and maybe you out there who does not speak any Portuguese needed to hear this message. So um, I will do the video in, in English. The whole thing's gonna be in English and then I'll upload the one in Portuguese. So um, let's pray and let's do this. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your word. And I thank you because uh, we have a mouth to talk. And when we have a mouth to talk, God, you use us. So I pray that you use my mouth, Lord. Here I am. Use me in my experience today. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Let's get into the word. So I'm going to read two scriptures. And it's going to be, and I'm going to use my glasses because I can't read without that. So um, it's going to be Genesis 3. 8 and 9 and then um, 1st John 1 and 9 okay so Genesis 3 8 say then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden but the Lord God called to the man where are you so 1st John 1 9 say um, over there dip it over here 8 and 9 1 John 1 8 and 9 if we claim to be if without sin we deceive ourselves and the truth it's not in us if we confess our sins he's faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from our unrighteousness so again this was 1 John 1 8 and 9 in Genesis 3 um, eight and nine. It's easy to remember. So anyway, what I do want to talk to you today is what God has put in my heart this week and what he has been talking to me about it. Um, and if you see what I wrote in the title, it is, what is your drug choice? Um, so um, a good friend of mine, she um, mentioned that to, to me a few uh, times already and it's very interesting because um, when you think about drug you can think about alcohol you think about um, opioids you think about heroin you think about all the drugs that are out there right nope no right <laughs> because drug can be anything anything that you have a bad habit of doing in, the, in your daily life so for me in my life and I will be talking about my experience only and if you can relate it to and I pray that you find something that you can relate it to and God um, you help you um, this week so um, a choice of drug can be um, being negative okay oh is that a choice of drug you know what if you can go a day without saying something negative about your life about someone else and about anything the, the circumstance it might be it might be because when you're talking about an addiction you're talking about something that you don't live without like every single day you gotta have a little bit of that so um so we can talk about negativity i've been there and go there back so um, in, in my daily life, so you can think about things there when you wake up, you know, instead of giving praise to God, instead of giving, um, having a heart of um, gratitude, you, you go straight to look everything that's not good in your life, everything that's not working good. And you know what? That's a choice. Just like um, addiction and just like um, a, a choice, the addiction is with a substance it's a choice that we make you know what is that easy to change no no <laughs> it's not easy at all um because it's a habit it's our a habit when we read here in the script the scripture about adam and eve the first sin and the first man who sinned um he hid he hid as long as 
um, Eve, she ate the apple, she gave to the husband, and right after, they realized, oh my gosh, what have I done? So they went and they hide themselves, like right away. So after they hide themselves, God said, where are you? Do you think God didn't know where, where they were? Of course, of course God knew. God is everywhere and he knows everything. But he was like, where are you? Don't you think I'm not seeing you? Don't you think I don't know where your mouth has been speaking? Don't you think I don't know where you have been thinking? Don't you think I don't know you can hide that sin in your heart? And you can hide that resentment in your heart and I don't see it. Where are you? You know what? Sometimes we think we can hide things from God and he's right there, like 24.7. He's not for judgment eye saying like, hey, hey, where are you? What have you been doing? Like that, he's a loving God. You know why he wants us to realize? Because once we realize, we know we have something to change. We know we have something to work on. And because if we don't realize what is wrong with us or what, what is the habit that he wants us to change, how can we change if we don't realize? So the Lord is saying like, where are you? Meaning, where are you? Let me change you. Let me help you. Let me hold you. Let me just grab you and take you by your hand to the other side. Where are you? And you know what? You can be thinking, well, I don't know if I, I have a habit that I do it every single day or if I do it something every single day. You know what? Maybe we don't have something that we do every day, but we all have struggles. We all have things that um, we don't want in our lives, right? And number two, we all have things that actually the Lord has been convicting us. And I pray right now in Jesus' name that whatever it is, God is going to be showing to you right now. Whatever He wants you to work on it so we can have more freedom, so you can have a free life. Um, as long as we realize and as long as we are willing to confess that to one another, God is right there. He's right there. Just like we read in 1 John 1, 9. Remember what we read? was If we confess, if we think, it, first of all, if we think that we don't have any sin, we're wrong. Just like the word saying here. Listen, if we claim to be false sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth, it's not in us. It's a harsh word. I'm sorry, but it's the word. If you believe the word, you believe that too. <laughs> Don't take that out. So if we confess our sins right after saying, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just, and he will forgive us. He will forgive us and he will purify us. That means that we're free. That means whatever I've done a minute ago, and I confess, and I am really regretful for what I did. That means that God did forgive me. That's what it means. That means when my mouth goes too much, because that's my problem, I have a big mouth. I do have a big mouth. And my husband knows about it. And he calls me out all the time on my big mouth. So I have a big mouth and I like to control. Um, and that, and God has been really working on my heart on this, like completely, really working on me. And the, am I gonna be completely free from this forever someday? I hope so, but you know what? I'm not gonna be perfect until Jesus comes back. So I was gonna have something to work on it. I was gonna have something that he's gonna add to me so I can work on it every single day so because if we are perfect we don't need to be here on earth anymore we can go and go to heaven with him so we do not need to be here anymore after we reach the perfection so i pray the lord will open your eyes and you see what is your drug of choice daily what is your drug of choice weekly that you have been using to satisfy yourself your soul your emotions more than the lord itself because when we go to god he fulfills us he just um he fulfills us inside and out. So if we're going to anything else, if we, if you think that you can control um, the circumstance, you can control somebody else, um, that's what I think sometimes. I still think that <laughs> because by my actions, you know, I know in my mind um, I cannot control anything. I have no right to control anything or other person. Um, 
but you know what i should try unconscious that's unconscious so um that is a choice that i keep coming back but god keep reaching to me and say hey you just did that pay attention to that and i'm saying god here i am again i'm sorry for my sins god grant me the serenity to accept what i cannot change god if i cannot change these just help me to accept that so if you are there and you have a hard time to accept things that you cannot change pray with me read to god with me read to one another do not be scared go to a safe person and talk talk confess your sins and say hey i'm struggling with that daily on a daily basis hey will you help me so i can be accountable to you will you help me just asking me how i am daily so i can i can just move on and change god has put it as one another beside each other to help i know with this pandemic we are isolating yourself you're being far from each other but we still have phones we still have FaceTime, we still have message a day, we talk to people. So you know what? Just reach that phone. Even though it might be very heavy sometimes. So reach that phone and call to someone else to talk to a person who you trust and talk to somebody and tell them about it, how you're feeling and what do you need and, and the prayers and um I make sure it's a safe person that's not gonna judge you. Um and God said that He will help. He will help. So um, I just pray that God really open your eyes um, like he has been opening my eyes this week and these past few months really for a lot of things. And I pray this video help you and don't try to hide like Adam did, like Eve did. Don't try to hide. There's no need for that. It's time for freedom. It's time for freedom thinking about freedom okay if you want to be free we need to confess our sins to one another we need to confess our bad habits to one another we need to confess things that we're doing that uh, doesn't align with the plan of God for our life um, hey and if you don't know God let's know God today okay let's just um, you know um, there is a lot of things going on earth right now that um, it's completely out of our controls and we can see the pandemic um, it's completely out of our hands completely out of our hands but there is a God there is a Savior and his name is Jesus he's the one who came back for me and you um, to save us because you know what we can be perfect for more than we try um, but if you're perfect out there let me know let me know where have you done or which areas you don't fall at all um, let me know because it's really really hard we humans and humans fall humans fall fall we are not God but there is a God his name is Jesus and I'm gonna pray and we can pray with me after words and you can confess your sins you can write to me I'm right there I have my email in there you can write to me you can write in the comments um, whatever you need your prayer needing need and we will help each other okay um, so repeat with me if you have if you have if you don't know the Lord repeat it for me Lord Jesus I accept you I believe you I know you are there. I am a sinner and I need a savior. Thank you for being that savior. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Change my heart and my soul. I believe you, you rose from the dead three days later after you died. And I believe you are here. Change me in Jesus name. So I'm gonna pray for you and um, I hope you have a blessed week and uh, we will talk, okay? Lord Jesus, I thank you for this person who has been sticking for me this whole time, have been watching this video, God. I just pray blessing over them. I pray that you um, go with them before then, after then, God. I just pray your blood, you cover them, God. And I pray that you open their eyes, God. Open their eyes for what they need to see, God. 
take it off our pride god you have been showing to me that pride is a really big sin and that's why adam and eve was in that position god was out behind this pride because we don't want to admit that we are wrong we don't want to admit that we do something wrong in a daily basis god so i just pray god that you open each one of my friends eyes god in my eyes lord jesus for each day so we can go more and more god and reach to be closer to you and, and, and reach to that freedom god to that freedom that you have available for all of us in jesus name amen see you later